welcome to Big Energy. I'm your host, Cassie Underwood, here to give you a dose of that good energy and talk with people who do it best. Each week, I bring you the knowledge we need to be the forces of nature we came here to be. Hi, friends. Welcome back to another week of Big Energy. I am recording this episode from the airport where I'm about to go on my annual August vacation. This episode is about the courage to take a vacation, how to go out of the office without losing your mind. So I take two vacations a year where I delete apps, I put on my out of office reply, and I really just sink into the vacation. I once had a coach who would take the entire month of August off. I thought it was incredible and so bold because I used to spend Christmas sitting in a Waffle House in Kentucky with my family, not with my family, they'd be be back home celebrating Christmas, but I'd be in Waffle House with my laptop because I just couldn't imagine taking a day off of work. I couldn't imagine not working. So if you are somebody who struggles with taking a vacation, who feels guilty when you're taking a vacation, this episode is for you. If you're somebody who struggles to really tell people that you're not available, this episode is for you. I have dealt with all that and I'm gonna share with you how I set it up so that I can take a vacation without losing my mind. So the first thing, it always begins with the emotions. And if you can address your emotions, you're addressing your energy. The emotion that comes up for a lot of people around leaving the office or not being available is guilt. So we end up feeling guilty that I'm not there, that maybe I should be doing more, I'm gonna get in trouble, like, oh, I feel so bad about not showing up, am I doing the wrong thing? Will they think I'm a bad, you know, whatever, whatever, because I'm taking this time away. And so you must start with the guilt. Guilt is fear. And when we have a fear, we're radiating it on some level. And that creates an energy leak or an opening where you're just going to be more susceptible to either find something to worry about when you're on vacation or for people to try to intrude upon your vacation so that you can't truly take the time off because you're getting all these quote unquote emergencies coming through the door. First of all, you've got to set times every year when you're actually gonna take a vacation. You actually just have to put it on the calendar. I do August and I also do the week around Christmas. And so you can do however you want, but actually put it in your calendar so that you know it's coming. Most of us need a couple days to start to relax and unwind and just get to get used to vacation mode. When you're scheduling your vacation, make sure you're also scheduling in a few days of that. Then you've got to set up some boundaries and structures in place to protect your vacation. Here's what I do, and you can apply this in whatever way works for you, for your life, your work, your business. The first thing I do is we send a heads up email to all of my students and clients with deadlines for when they can send their last Boxer note or WhatsApp or schedule a call with me before I leave. So everyone's crystal clear on when that's gonna be. And we usually send that at least two weeks in advance. Sometimes more, but we send it at least two weeks in advance. And so that way we've already communicated to everybody when I'm leaving and also when they can send their last questions. That way my clients and my students can prepare for the time I'm away. They can ask questions or get assignments so that they can, can use that time when I'm gone to really sink into whatever they're focusing on, whether it is building their vibration around money or transforming a relationship or getting more connected to themselves and to their source so that they can have less anxiety and less fear. So you start with that. Then what we do is we send a reminder email a day or two before I leave. That prompts everybody to send in all those questions that, oh my gosh, she's about to leave. I'm going to send those in now. Then I go in and I say goodbye in my group apps and, and all that. And I'll tell everybody, hey, I'm leaving. I'll put away messages on. And then my team, they know what I would consider a quote unquote emergency. I have defined an emergency to my team where they would then be able to text me and say, hey, this thing is going on. We need your your feedback on this. That way, I am really shielding myself from triggers and temptations because it's hard for me to take time away. I love working with my students. I love working with my clients. So it's not easy for me to turn it all off, but I know that the benefit is 
that I'm going to come back refreshed, more connected, inspired. I will have spent some true quality time with my loved ones. And when I get back online, I'm going to be better than I was before. I will usually work until the minute that my plane lands at my destination when I'm going on the vacation. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. And I'm totally fine with that. I love it. I enjoy it. It feels great. I set up all of that structure. When I land, I send the last Voxer messages and WhatsApp messages. I put on my away messages, delete the apps, and I am officially on vacation. Now, what I'm not on vacation from is my meditation my prayer, my exercise, my health. When I get to my vacation spot, I am still gonna make sure that I'm in prime mental condition because otherwise I'm gonna have a shitty ass time. If I'm like, oh, well I'm on vacation so I don't need to meditate or pray or exercise or do any of those things, hell no. That's the time when I wanna do it more than any other time. If I don't meditate, I'm gonna start obsessing. If I'm not really connected to my source, I'm gonna start going into anxiety. So the best thing I can do when I get to wherever my destination is, is set up a meditation space with my books or any other gadgets I'm using. I went through a laughing Buddha phase where I had a little laughing Buddha statue because I felt that my meditations were just getting too serious. And then when I'm on vacation, I wake up and I do my morning practice just as I would. I still want to stay conscious and connected. And then I just have a good old fucking time. And that's the work. I know I've been very clear with my clients, with everyone about how long I'm gone, when I'm going to be back. And I'm not trying to pretend like I'm not on vacation. Everyone knows what I'm doing. That way I don't feel guilty if somebody sees me on Instagram, but I'm on vacation. And I'm on Instagram on vacation because I like it. (laughs) I can do whatever I want on vacation. And if there's any fears that come up about, oh, well, I'm on vacation, so I have to pretend that I don't exist at all. Like I have to hide from everything. You're in some way suppressing yourself from what you want to do. If you notice that, just do a little fear work around it. What is the fear? What is the truth? What's the worst case scenario? How would I handle the worst case scenario with courage? What new beliefs do I want to take on? What's my action plan? And then you really get to be free on that vacation. If there's anything where you're trying to pretend like you're not going on vacation, I do encourage you where you don't want to tell anybody because you are afraid or ashamed or whatever it is. That's a fear and I encourage you to just take a look at it and answer those questions for yourself and do a meditation where you really picture yourself walking through the action plan with courage. Don't wait for the fear to go away before you take action. Once you take the action, then the fear goes away. So take that consciously inspired action that you come up with when you're doing the work, when you have examined your fear and looked at like what's the truth and what's the most courageous action I could take and then take that action and you're gonna have a fucking blast on vacation. Go all out, enjoy it. I am about to board my plane and go on vacation and I can't wait to connect with you all when I get back. Have a great week. And don't forget, September 1st is the last day to enroll in the Maverick Woman, my six month mastermind, in time to join our South of France retreat. So if you've been thinking about joining the Maverick Woman, please register by or before September 1st to join us in the south of France. Go to cassieunderwood.com forward slash the Maverick Woman for details and registration and also if you'd like to book a call with me to chat about it. September 1st guys, mark your calendar and register now. Love you, talk to you soon. That was another episode of Big Energy with me, your host, Cassie Underwood. Were you into it? Go ahead and click the subscribe button and leave a review. You can also find me online at CassieUnderwood.com. See you next time.